What is up guys, Jeremy with Everything I Device, and yes, welcome to another Retro Arch tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be covering how to download PlayStation ISOs, or the games themselves, and how to install them within Retro Arch to be played. Uh, so, if you guys haven't seen the previous videos, I would recommend watching those before you get to this point, just so you have a good understanding of what is going on. And I do apologize for this being a rather intensive uh, series of videos, but there is a lot to cover. And after this video, yes, it will be the PS3 controller time. I will show you guys how to configure it and how to use it with this uh, with this emulator. And it doesn't work for just or it, 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 it works for the PlayStation games, but it also works for the every other core. It works for Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Game Boy uh, Color, Game Boy Advance. It, it, the PS3 controller will work for all. And then in an upcoming video, we will be doing the Wii Mote and even the Wii Classic Mote. Uh, so this is definitely an awesome series. But uh, back on point here, yes, we're going to be downloading a PlayStation game. So the first thing you're going to want to do is just go ahead and go to Cool ROM. And we're going to go ahead and select ROM files. And let's scroll down here until we see uh, Sony PlayStation there at the bottom. And like the other tutorial, you do have uh, browse by letter, browse by genre. You have your top 25 downloaded, and you do have your top 25 rated. Uh, what should we try out for this video? What would be a fun game for this video? Uh, ooh, Final Fantasy, I don't know. Let's see. What else do we have here? There's Pepsi Man there. For those of you that have been asking, I have Crash Bandicoot. I already have that. Um, eh, all right. Well, I guess we're just gonna do uh, Final Fantasy here. So go ahead and select whatever ROM you'd like to download. It's technically a ISO. Uh, to be more technical, it's not actually a ROM, but that's just what it is. Um, so we can just scroll down and we can do download now. Now the PlayStation files. Are big it's gonna take a while to download these are big this is like the size of a large app from the App Store so if you're downloading it on 4g or 3g it's probably gonna take a little while so we're gonna go ahead and select our destination of where we want to download it to we're gonna go ahead and select PlayStation and I'm gonna click choose and download it will go into my download section and yes this game is 463.8 megabytes which is almost half a gig in size uh, these are full PlayStation games so they're gonna take a while to download so I'm gonna go ahead and speed this portion up alright finally Final Fantasy is done downloading as you can see uh, it does say disk 1 so that's another thing to, to pay attention to when downloading PlayStation games is they might possibly be separate disks for separate downloads just because they are so big. So now that it's downloaded, we can go ahead and exit out of uh, Safari and go ahead and open up iFile. And I'm going to back out into documents here. Um, oh, from my last tutorial, if you guys still have the BIOS files uh, in your documents file and you have them in the .retro arch, you can delete them out of the documents file as long as they're pasted into the proper spot so we're gonna go ahead and open up ROMs here and we're gonna go into PlayStation and there is Final Fantasy right there so we're gonna go ahead and unarchive this and again since it is such a big file this will take a, a little bit of time as well and I'll just let it sit here and run we'll see how long this takes shouldn't be too bad it doesn't take anywhere near as long as it takes to download it um, as you can see I am connected to my Wi-Fi and when I was downloading uh, this game, it was going at about 300 kilobytes per second uh, because it also depends on the servers on Cool ROM's part as well. It's not just going to go as fast as your internet allows. Uh, there is a happy median when it comes to that kind of stuff. So uh, just let it unarchive here and unpackage. Um, as you can see, it's a different type of file. Normally, the ROMs are, are a .zip. This is a .7z, which is kind of the same thing. Um, so we're just going to let it run and I'll be back here in a second. And there we go. It just finished. It result with a code zero, which means it worked. So we can go ahead and click done. And as you can see, there's a readme file, delete that. And the, uh, the normal dot seven Z file is still there. So we can delete that as well. As long as you have the dot bin, uh, that is the game right there itself. As you can see, the the actual games is kind of like just a blank piece of paper with a the corner folded so we'll delete the the dot 7z 
and you definitely want to delete these because it being almost a half a gig in size if you have both files that's one gig of memory being taken up so do pay attention very carefully with this so now it's in there it's it's ready to go let's go ahead and open up uh, not cool roms let's open up the uh, retro arch right here and we'll back out to roms go back into playstation and then there is final fantasy right there we'll try the top one i can't read the whole thing and we'll try and run it here and let's see if we got a non-corrupted good file and it looks to be so it is running Squaresoft I'm sure I can't skip this uh, whatever and here we go let's uh, go ahead and pull this off the dock here and turn it to the correct orientation so let's go up to new game click start or the uh, button there And here you go guys as you can see Final Fantasy is running by the look and sound of it it is not corrupted it is running smoothly and I'll just let this play out for like another 30 seconds maybe to a minute just to see some of the uh, graphics here So there you guys go, I must say this is just incredibly impressive for running these PlayStation games uh, this smooth. Um, again like I said earlier in this video, the next tutorial is going to be how to sync up and use a PlayStation 3 controller to actually play these games. And uh, it's pretty incredible, so stay tuned in for that. If you guys did enjoy this uh, quick download tutorial for the, the PlayStation games, definitely give me a thumbs up that will help out my video tremendously also if you guys want to see more tutorials like this be sure to click that subscribe button and on a side note all of the links that are needed are down in the description for all of the other videos so be sure to check that out this has been jeremy with everything iDevice and i will catch you guys in the next one later